Hello everyone, I Anjali Kiss, Assistant Professor from Chitkara School of Hospitality. In today's session, we'll be talking about planning and organizing of the housekeeping department. In today's topic, we will be covering this following contents. Importance of planning in the housekeeping operation, understanding the role of each planning documents, understanding the steps involved in the planning process, and plan the work of the housekeeping department on a paper while using the various document. Operations. So we all know housekeeping is 24 into 7 operation which says that there has three shifts which says about a morning, evening and afternoon. So that says about it is a 24 into 7 into 365 days operation. Housekeeper plans and organizes the work. Planning is the EHK most important management function as we all know that EHK is the head of the department. That says about executive housekeeper is the head of the department. Planning well in advance by the executive housekeeper, the staff is clear about all the responsibilities and duties which are given to them. Planning of a work by the housekeeping department should be done step by step in a systematically approach. Systematically planning makes the enormous task as a housekeeping work seems more easier. The planning process which is very important and we, uh, we have already said that EHK is, uh, is dealing with this planning process and EHK has to make sure that everything is been or well organized. So the planning process involves the step by step planning process may differ slightly from one hotel HK departments to the another and in a different terminology. Housekeeping planning should be done on a paper and needs to be full properly documented. The questions that arises in the beginning of the planning process lead to the foundation of the basic planning documents that the executive housekeeper must follow. The planning process has a various seven steps. Step number one, prepare division of a work document. Step number two, prepare area inventory list. Step number three, prepare frequency schedule. Step number four, set performance standard. Step number five, set productivity standard. Step number six, set inventory level. And step number seven, prepare work schedule. Step number one, division of a documents. Division of a work document that identifies all the areas of the housekeeping department. Importance for a newly opened property. List of all the guests and employee areas. Division of a work documents. Which employees is responsible for which area. Step number two, which says about area inventory list. After making the documents of a work performance, the area inventory list, which says about the area cleaning inventory, consists of a list of the item that needs to be regularly cleaned and maintained in the zone of the housekeeping responsibility. The cleaning frequency schedule establishes the frequency for a cleaning and maintaining of the each item. Step number three, which says about a frequency schedule. The term frequency means time taken. So it shows how the items are listed in the area inventory list are to be clean and maintained. It divides the cleaning and maintenance tasks into daily, weekly, monthly or a periodic tasks. Step number four, performance standard. It describes how can to what standard a work is to be done. The best developed performance standards are the ones that are being prepared in consultation of the staff and they actually perform the task. Step number five, productivity standard. That's the most important standard and the productivity standards communicate the quality of a work which is expected to be completed by each employee of the department. Executive housekeepers should know how long it can take an employee to perform the main task in the area inventory list as it is helping to determining the staff requirement. This is the particular chart which, which shows about a productivity standard calculation of a GRA which says, which tell us how much time particular one GRA takes to complete one single room in a, uh, in a particular time period. Step number six which is very much important set inventories level. The EHK, 
the executive housekeeper must ensure that the employee must have a necessary material resources to carry out their task as we all know that the gra or a public area workers who have to who has to be working for a long hours they need to set their inventory so as in in turn of the inventory when it is less they need to tell to their supervisors step number 4 the work schedule is a document that is a actual task which has been carried out by the employee in a particular shift and a time frame in which it has to be undertake each task thank you.